they've hit a, a wall, uh, to be honest, uh, because uh, after Tiananmen, there was another attempt to not so much to, to uh, challenge the power of the party, but to create a civil society next to the party. And, and uh, Liu Xiaobo was one of the promoters of that approach. Uh, and in, in the early 2000s, there was uh, a lot of uh, movement in the society, uh, lawyers, uh, environment, uh, um, uh, AIDS, uh, fight to, to fight AIDS, they were, they, to fight injustice in the, in the appropriation of land. There, there was a lot of um, society action. and. And that was allowed for some time by uh, the, the, the Communist Party. And at one stage in 2008, there was a, a clampdown. Uh, Liu Xiaobo was arrested because he organized uh, the Charter uh, 08, which is uh, a kind of manifesto for democracy in China. And that manifesto was signed by hundreds of uh, intellectuals, um, university academics, um, doctors, uh, and so on. And, and the government got scared, because all of a sudden there was a kind of opposition network that was uh, emerging. And so Liu Xiaobo was arrested. Um, he was sentenced to 11 years in prison, and he died before the end of his term. He, he won the Nobel Prize, the Nobel Peace Prize in 2010 uh, for uh, this uh, action. Uh, but all um, resistance from the society was uh, really broken, I, especially after Xi Jinping arrived in power after t 2012. Uh, in 2015, uh, 250 lawyers were, were arrested, and they were only released if they signed a, a commitment not to touch sensitive issues. So uh, it, it has become uh, the, the room for maneuver for, for this kind of action um, is extremely limited today. It's hard to imagine.